Welcome back everybody Today we got a brand new video coming out. This will be the first video on the reaction channel Yes, the reaction channel that we've been working on so I've created two separate accounts This will be on the reaction channel Which is a new one and we got a gaming one everything will be coming soon with a lot more content The full video will be on the main channel the requiem which will have all the details of what I'm doing I just haven't Finish that video yet so stay tuned for that for the main channel there'll be more coming to that one too so let's get right into it today we got tom mcdonald me versus you let's see how tom does today i've been wanting to do a tom mcdonald reaction but i just i like his music a lot and the points he hits like a lot to the point where i can't wait to do one of these luckily i worked all day and this is what dropped today so we're getting into this right now if i could flip it Arr. Hope you guys like the background too. Uh, I um, I know it's tweaking out a little bit. I'm working on uh, figuring out how to do this green screen stuff. Well, it's not really a green screen. It's more of like it was introed into here. So we'll see how it all goes later on. But anyway, enough with me rambling. Let's get into it. I'm the one that you hate for making America great. And I'm the one who's trying to build back better. We ain't the same. Yeah, you're right. There's a difference. Y'all are woke and we're awake. What a joke. Does white privilege have something to say? Yo, president drove the country into the ground. The crime rate is through. There was something in the mix there. I'm trying to place it. Hold on. I'm the one that you hate for oh, making America great. And I'm the one who's trying and to build back sounds better. Sounds like a violin. Same. Yeah, you're right. There's a difference. Y'all are woke and we're awake. Okay, so uh, I can already tell. Sorry, I had to listen to that first. I wanted—I heard the guitar, and then I heard it sounded like another instrument. It turned out to be a violin. And that's why I hope it is, because that's why it sounded like the. But anyway, we got uh, definitely Republican versus uh, Democrat. So this is definitely going to be a political song. So <laughs> first video on the new channel. Let's see if it gets canceled, because you know everybody's so sensitive nowadays. Yeah, I said it. You gonna get mad over music? Get mad over music. I don't care. I'm the one that you hate for making America great. And I'm the one who's trying to build back better. We ain't the same. Yeah, you're right. There's a difference. Y'all are woke and we're awake. What a joke. Does white privilege have something to say? Yo, president drove the country into the ground. The crime rate is through the roof. There ain't no jobs to be found. Inflation going up. My kids need food in their mouths. You put the fake... Yo. <laughs> okay, it's coming in hot with points. Uh, can't. Uh, let's see how do how do I want to word this? But yeah, no, crime rates are up right now. We have a whole entire fire going on, and uh, obviously he's using the red shirt to depict that it's all Joe Biden's fault. So we'll see how it goes from here. Does white privilege have something to say? Yo oh, and I that line, white privilege. Everybody likes throwing that around nowadays. I hate hearing that term. It's literally meaningless. That means nothing to me. It's a worthless term. There's a difference. Y'all are woke and we're awake. What a joke. Does white privilege have something to say? Yo, president drove the country into the ground. The crime rate is through the roof. There ain't no jobs to be found. Inflation going up. My kids need food in their mouths. You put the fake Agreed. news on every TV screen in my house. Hold up. Your president, a racist, homophobic, tried to overthrow democracy and everybody knows it. He will never make America great again like the slogan. He'll <laughs> again, I, I like how Tom does that. He takes shit and he flips it on each other. But this one, you can definitely see that there's more or less a, a little bit of a bias with the song. He's definitely flipping it. He is flipping everything that happened. And it's true. Like, everybody on the left tries to claim he's a racist, all this uh, homophobic, everything. But they can't back it up. Which is what uh, I think he's going at here. Fake news on every TV screen in my house. Hold up. Your president, a racist homophobic, tried to overthrow democracy and everybody knows it. He will never make America great again like the slogan, he a white supremacist. Just like all of you. And again, that's the favorite thing with the, with the hardcore. There's, there, there's a hardcore on both sides, left and right. They're both destructive when they're too far on either side. But I like how they throw that into there, too. That's another one. When you disagree with the left, no matter if you're... No matter what race you are, they immediately try to attack you. Like you're, uh, you're a racist, you're homophobic, you're, you're this, you're that, you're a white supremacist, or you're uh, <coughs> a traitor to your own race. You know, I've heard all these different things. I've seen them in so many different videos, and that is true. Like that, they that's what they go to, especially the ignorant ones. And it's the same on the right too. You know, the far right does have the same kind of uh, dumbassery. 
where they'll just go and throw slangs at you in terms that have no correlation, no fact to back it. Who voted? That is not facts. All you woke morons do is talk trash. Drag queens in classrooms hate anyone who's not black. You're pro white. That's what <laughs> That's the true. clan members are, right? You're anti LGBTQ, then why are they always on your mind? I love that line, too. Because, you know, they try to bring up the KKK and how they're white, but yet there's pictures. There's no pictures of Donald Trump with them, but there's pictures of Joe Biden with the Klan. Bro, white, you know that's what the Klan members are, right? You're anti-LGBTQ, then why are they always on your mind? Bro, you're a boy, you're a girl, stop playing stupid. You're screwing up the youth and all the children are our future. You don't care oh. about the kids. Look at all okay, I'm going to write back and stop pausing as much, but there's a lot of good lines here. I love that line about how they're poisoning the youth. Because kids don't need to be force-fed ideology that's literally what's happening and i love that line let kids be kids let kids be happy let kids uh grow up and if then they discover this and when it gets to when they're more towards adulthood then these conversations could be happening it does not need to be happening in elementary schools i agree with that line entirely do is talk trash drag queens in classrooms hate anyone who's not black you're pro white you know that's what the clan members are right you're anti lgbtq then why are they always on your mind bro you're a boy you're a girl stop playing stupid you're screwing up the youth and all the children are our future you don't care about the kids look at all the school shootings you're pro gun it's your fault stop making those excuses you think anyone who don't agree with you is just a bigot you're a fascist you're a nazi you're just mad because yep. you're triggered you're just jealous goes. of the left because we're progressive and we're winning now i'm tripping that you won the election because you rigged it they put you on the That's sick. They put you on the right. He flipped it. They there's what they hate, they there's tell the you right side to over extremism. You break it. Which could have happened, but we're not going to get into that. They tell you who to hate. They do anything to get you screaming. See? Go back to it. You're screaming. Screaming. They put you on the right. They put you on the left. They tell you who to hate. That's so true, is they try to put people into different sides, and I love that, that he flips it. I, that's why I like Tom's music, he keeps flipping shit. So you got, they either try to force you into the left, or you try to force you into the right side of politics. I, I've never agreed with that. You always got to make your own decisions on what you agree with, and there's good ideas from both sides. And I like how he flipped that, the way he flipped it. They put you on the left, they put or they put you on the right, they put you on the left. And how he's talking about how they teach you to, they tell you who to hate. And then you're just screaming at each other. It's because both sides are manipulating you into hating each other. I like that flip on that. That is freaking genius. My president drained in the swamp. We building walls. Your president opened the border for one and all. Now there's murderers and criminals evading the law. True. Walking right into America, our safety is gone. Well, my yep. president ended pandemic, saved the economy, and introduced legislation fighting for our equality. His son smokes crack. I don't care about that, honestly. He's raising all our wages. He can't raise his children properly. You obviously pro life. A woman's choice is your right. I feel like abortion is important, and you don't like. You're treating it like birth control. You're treating them like your wife. I said that all lives matter, and I also meant unborn life. You're so clever. Go ahead, make your little memes while we're bringing home the soul. Oh, I gotta run that back here, so I... I'm gonna have to do another pause here, but there was so many, there was so many good points on both sides there that he was throwing. Before it was more or less the red shirt Tom bodying him, which would of course be Republican, and then there was a couple good points that was made on the, on the blue shirt, the left, which it would be Democrats, and I like how they're kind of in like, uh, it's they're arguing the points, but they're good points but you also got to see the right kind of throw those uh jabs just like the left does you know and he's showing both of that and i really like that that he's hitting both sides he threw jabs at both of them there and that was incredible Fighting for our equality. His son smokes crack. I don't care right about there. that, honestly. He's raising all our wages. He can't raise his children properly. You obviously pro life. A woman's choice is your right. I feel like abortion is important and you don't like and You're treating where... it like birth control. You're treating them like your wife. I said that all lives matter. That's where that's where uh important conversations have to happen. That's how they need to happen. But without the argumentativeness. And I like that. That is ingenious. The way he keeps bringing like the abortion, how he brought in Hunter Biden, those little Jabs, I love that. 
Person is important and you don't like you're treating it like birth control you're treating them like your wife i said that all lives matter and i also meant unborn life you're so clever go ahead make your little memes while we're bringing home the soldiers who were in the middle east okay you brought the soldiers home but then you burnt the flag and took a knee and left the men who fought for all our freedom homeless on the street fucking facts damn and we didn't get all of our soldiers out. We never can. We'll create too much of a power vacuum if we ever pull out all of our soldiers. I understand that. We've become the world's police, which sucks. But, you know, everybody's like, oh, yeah, well, we got more soldiers home. But you got, when people burn the flag, they don't realize that that flag symbolizes all the people that have died for this nation. And I support the troops 100%. You know, they didn't, they didn't realize signing up would mean, you know, what they'd be losing, especially those that have seen combat, what they've been through. And I like how he brought in how they took a knee and burned the flag. I, I love that line because, you know, I get it, it's a sign of protest and I get that point. But to me, I feel it's uh, when you burn that flag, what you're doing is you're basically spitting on soldiers. That's how I feel. You know, and I just like how he brought up how so many of our soldiers are homeless right now. So many of them go without treatment, without help. And it is it is one of the bigger, you know, catastrophes that is un, un, unfolding in this nation. You know, these men and women, they're brave as shit. They fought. Do you think they care about color of skin when they're on the battlefield with each other? No, they care about who's got their back, and that's how it is. It's a brotherhood and a sisterhood in there. And then they come back home, and the government just says, oh, fuck you. You know, leaves you by yourself. Like, holy shit, I love that line. You're so clever, go ahead, make your little memes While we're bringing home the soldiers who were in the Middle East Okay, you brought the soldiers home, but then you burnt the flag and took a knee And left the men who fought for all our freedom homeless on the street Build back better, there'll be violence and riots Until you Bible thumpers learn to fall in line and trust the science We ain't ever backing down from all you pedos and tyrants The right is fighting the <laughs> <laughs> And that, There you go, there's another one of those flips She got the blue making... Not really a good point, but a point that, you know, they could uh, potentially back a little bit, you know, where there is, you know, there is more fact in there to what they say, like what they're talking about, you know, you need to follow the silence. I don't agree with uh, insulting people about the religion, never will, you know, everybody's allowed to believe what they want and, uh, and have whatever faith they want. But I like how he threw it back at him. That I was not expecting. Holy shit. For all our freedom, homeless on the street. Build back better, there'll be violence and riots until you Bible thumpers learn to fall in line and trust the science. We ain't ever backing down from all you pedos and tyrants. <laughs> right there. <laughs> the pedos and tyrants. I just had to hear how he put it again. <laughs> With how many of them are. <laughs> With how many are being found out left and right, you know, especially with Hollywood, you got freaking, oh, you got all these Nickelodeon ones that are being called out, Hollywood and how they grew, oh my god, it, that was hysterical. The men who oh. fought for all our freedom, homeless on the street. Build back better, there'll be violence and riots until you Bible thumpers learn to fall in line and trust the science. We ain't ever backing down from all you pedos and tyrants. The right is fighting the system, the left designed to divide us. And that is clown talk. All you got oh, is mean tweets, free speech. Call the cops. Dog, you defunded the police. This country will be better off with Not all you freaks. Line. This is America, homie. If you don't like it, you can leave. Agree. They put you on the left, they put you on the right. You don't have to like your government to love your country. I hate our government because a lot of them are dumbasses and they cannot ever see that they're the people that they represent. We are their employers and they'd rather fight each other than actually get shit done that would actually benefit all of us. But I love my country. There is a massive difference. Homie, if you don't like it, you can leave. They put you on the left, they put you on the right They tell you what to hate, then they tell you who to fight Till you're screaming Screaming They put you on the right, they put you on the left They tell you who to hate, they do anything to get you Screaming Screaming No president will ever give a damn about
about the truth. It don't matter who's the winner, cause the people always lose. Yep. No president will ever break the system from inside. It's a deep state plan dividing us into sides. It Agreed. don't matter if you're left, right, black, white, red, blue, conservative or liberal, rich, poor, me, you, Republican or Democrat, old, young, mean, cool. They promise us our freedom, but then all we get is free doom. They put you on the left, Agreed. they put you on the right. They tell you what to hate, then they tell you who to fight. Till you're screaming. Oh, that last verse was perfect about how they don't care. They want to get you separated. They want you to fight so that way you can't rise up against them. I love that line. Oh, that verse. Well, sorry, not that line, but that verse was fucking phenomenal. On the right, they put you on the left. They tell you who to hate. They do anything to get you screaming. Screaming. And again, another uh, Nova Rockefeller, right? Thank you. Hey, right. Yeah, Rockefeller. Yeah, she does great with these music videos. And it's awesome that you know the it's literally just them and maybe a couple other people that they work with. They do this all themselves. Oh, that was fantastic. Well, uh, anyway, uh, anyway, everybody. I definitely rate this one as an 8 out of 10. He did. I loved how he came at the approach about how you got the back and forth. You got the banter. You, you know, you got the truth in both messages on both sides. But then you also got those uh, pushed, pushed feelings that are pushed onto people. <laughs> and it's a separation. It's a divide. And I like how he commented on that. When he uh, went to, you know, the other persona, which would be more like the government entity and how they want everybody divided so we can't get stuff fixed. So we're all fighting each other instead of going after them. And there was truth on both sides and I like how he did it. And I hope this opens up a lot of great discussion for future. You know, that would be amazing. You know, I see it all the time in his comments. You get so much good discussion. And yeah, Tom, you nailed this one and you hit it out of the park. A lot of good points and a lot of facts in there. So, I hope you all enjoyed this reaction. Tom McDonald freaking killed it. And I'm glad that this is the first video on the new channel. This will probably be up a day or two after it comes out. And after this video has you know, been out. So, hopefully a lot of you get to see it. And you can let me know how you like this reaction. If I could change it. You know, how many times I pause it. Or if I should just listen to a little bit. A little chunk. You know, like 20-30 seconds. And then... You know, comments on everything. Go back through. Let me know. Definitely let me know in those comments or in the Discord. Links down in the description. All right, y'all. Have a good rest of your night, and I hope you guys enjoy your weekends. Deuces!